Hi, Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. All right, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. If you have questions, it's, um, well, if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website. And if you have questions, you can always text your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, Sag, I pulled some cards off camera for you. Shuffle, prayed. Um, so, we have here... Uh, overweight above a weight considered normal or desirable okay so some of you could be overweight some of you could be over in your spending too like um you're over budget um your ex your uh, expenses uh, exceed your uh your revenue like you know there's always a deficit there's always you're always in the red you know um that could also be that if you're not physically overweight, but overweight. So above a weight considered normal or uh, desirable. Then you have work gets rewarded. Do the work. Some of you need to do the work on yourself. Uh, either your physical weight. You need to do the work in terms of your finances. You need to cut, cut the fat, trim the fat, wherever you can. Get rid of some stuff. Sell. Do. You know. Um, cut down. Then you also have when we are together is pure bliss. When we are apart, the in insecurity set in. So somebody doesn't trust, okay? Um, somebody, I heard somebody doesn't trust you as, as far as they can throw you. Um, or, or vice versa, this is how you feel. You don't trust this person when they're out of sight, out of mind. That's exactly how you feel. Um, they're acting, you know, you're not in their sight. Therefore, you're out of their mind. So they're doing something that is contrary to the relationship contrary to keeping the relationship together um somebody's spending habits suck somebody is uh, overeating overspending someone's uh you know their ex expenses exceed the revenue let's see overweight above a weight considered desirable or normal what is this about for sag okay so this could be you Trimming the fat, the queen of swords, and the temperance card. So you need to do something in moderation. That could be eating. That could be drinking. Whatever this is. But you need to get yourself in, in shape here. It could have something to do with your health also. It says if things are bad for you and your health, they're, they're going to stay bad if you don't do anything. If it's good, it's going to stay good. You know, don't fix it. You need to fix it if it's not broken. But it's also about, you know, coming out of the emotionalism in terms of, uh, your weight also emotional eating um you need to get real firm with yourself queen of swords you need to cut out all that doesn't serve you that isn't valuable um the food that doesn't add, add any nutritional value or have any nutritional value uh, you just need to be the executive in your life you know look at her doesn't she look serious so that's how you need to be about your weight um it could also be about your finances work gets rewarded Let's see. Work gets rewarded. Work gets rewarded. Let's see. What is this about? Work gets. Okay. Four of Pentacles. If you want to get to the place of maybe having some type of fame or being infamous or having a, a newfound, newfound wealth, you're going to have to do the work. Um, you're going to have to get rid of the insecurities, being so possessive, um, domineering, um, not healing from trauma, childhood trauma uh stingy keep in mind that money is in energy put it out so that it can come back to you uh don't hoard any money uh do save but don't be a hoarder of money uh work gets rewarded do some work you can't just sit on your money or sit on your ass and not do anything okay all right so that's what they said not me all right let's see what else yeah something about high priestess doing nothing um uh, doing nothing with the money knowing that you should some of you have some talent, repressed talent. You need to get under some type of mentorship, someone that can help you foster, cultivate the talent so you can bring it out. You can actually get paid for it. You can monetize it uh, in, in this world. So it's like it's like you get some something inside of you that is great. And you need to let it out because you can actually um, make a living from this. Uh, something's been telling you, put your stuff out there. Do it. Stop holding on to it. 
your work will be rewarded. You will be paid for it handsomely is what I heard. Okay. Uh, some of you got old songs. You got old something. You got some old material. Whatever it is you do, you need to put it out there. When are when we are together, it's pure bliss. When we are apart, the insecurity set in. What is this about? What is this about for Sagittarius? All right, let's see. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So it's like lack of trust, um, recklessness, feeling like you need to pull this person back every time they leave. You know, um, the 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 runner chaser type energy. Yeah, it's, I knew it was coming out. The devil is like. This is insecurity. This is fear. This is fear-based type of love. You're loving or you're trying to maintain a relationship out of fear, lack, and scarcity. And that's the worst. And that's something you don't need to do. Um, you're trying to keep someone bound to you. This is clingy energy. This is um, confrontational out of all because of your own insecurities. Okay? Uh, the relationship is becoming toxic, drama-filled. Um yeah so you might need to deal with your insecurities and then seek relationship okay and not before spending habits suck okay so your spending habits suck all right what's going on here spending habits suck. okay first card out yeah the five of pentacles it's going to lead you to a place of depletion of being or you already there maybe a homelessness a destitute or needing help or needing a handout um, because your spending habits suck you need to reel it in. Six of swords. You need to get to a place of where there's less chaos. Uh, or, or your finances aren't so chaotic. Uh, there could have been uncertain self-employment. Like you just didn't know if money was going to come in this month or this week or whatever. Yeah. You need to get some type of guidance, structure, routine about your money. This is a budget. Or it's going to lead you to the poorhouse. You'll always be chasing money or fighting for or fighting for it to get out of debt. Because you're spending habits suck, some of you had to move. You had to lean on other people. Now you need to get some routine about about saving and maybe um There's a lot of pettiness and drama going, you know, swirling around. Maybe something you had to do. Now you have to work with other people or you had to sell some things. All of a sudden you had to sell some things. All of a sudden you had some legal issues. You had to get a lawyer. You had to get somebody to speak on your behalf so you can get out of this partnership or this agreement. That could be a lease. So if you have not suffered this forewarning you know what i'm saying um yeah take heed you know um correction comes before destruction you know so do what you need to do all right let's see let's close this out with a butterfly oracle deck card here advice for the sag Advice for Sagittarius, yeah, forgiveness, okay? It could be debt forgiveness, forgiving yourself for doing something that you know you shouldn't have done, asking forgiveness of others, um, forgiving other people also, you know, uh, clearing that energy and that heart chakra so that you can manifest because if you're holding on to stuff, you're not going to manifest anything good. So that's what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live again every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the bell button so you know when I go live. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.